Hey y'all, so it is Tuesday. <laughs> My God, it took me forever to figure out what day it was. It's like three in the afternoon and I am just sitting here trying to stay awake. I'm so tired. I just took a jet alert, so hopefully I wake up soon. I think I'm about ready to take another one actually because I really need to wake up because I have a lot to do. So I have a test tomorrow in my advanced grammar class. So it's basically over sentence structuring and sentence patterns. So yeah, I can show you kind of what I'm going to be doing on the test. I basically have to diagram sentences, decide what type of pattern sentences because there's seven pattern sentences and yeah, I just need to know all those, which I do. And I need to know how to diagram sentences, which I think I'm pretty good at it. I've been practicing like crazy. I also, oh, I had a presentation on Monday in my literature by women's class. It went good. I had to present a project about Mary Estelle. And she is a woman that wrote a book called A Serious Proposal to the Ladies back in 1694. And she was actually one of the world's first feminist historians have called her that they have said that so that was kind of really cool to read about her and do a project on her and honestly if it wasn't for her i probably wouldn't even be in school right now <laughs> but she's amazing and i really did enjoy learning about her and reading her proposal i do recommend people read that by the way it's something that is not very well appreciated in today's society and it should be because she did a really amazing thing and not only that but she was heavily heavily critiqued and bullied for her work and she had a really really controversial life for the most part of people just hating her she did have a few admirers for the most part she was pretty hated but and she she did an amazing thing though so so i had to present about that it was a 10 minute presentation i had a powerpoint I had like a wiki page for all my notes and everything and that was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought for sure my presentation would be bad. I have a really bad like public speaking issue like I don't know why I can sing in front of so many people <laughs> like no problem like I've sang I've probably my biggest audience has been maybe uh three four hundred people maybe that's not a lot to some people but that was like the biggest one I've ever done and it was fine like no big deal like I can sing in front of that many people no problem but when it comes to speaking publicly I'm not good at it unless it's behind a camera and I'm by myself in my room or like with my family vlogging I actually do have a big public speaking issue but I think I did okay I hope I did good on the project I'm just kind of nervous about it I worked my ass off on it but I just hope it went well and then today I've just been trying to read for my literature class I have to read we're reading the female quick soap by the way by Charlotte Lennox and I've tried to vlog I have not been doing a good job so this is the weekly vlog I'm going to be doing this book is so good by the way I actually really 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 like this and I didn't expect to like it because it just looks boring <laughs> like to be completely honest it just looks really boring but it wasn't it's not it's very interesting I'm on page 180 and I have to read to page 254 tonight I know I can do it it's a really 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 good book so I'm actually going to start that now and I've been annotating it as you can see like the po the freaking tabs are ridiculous <laughs> the blue is stuff that the main character Arabella is saying or her thoughts and beliefs and I basically mark anything that I think is worth talking about in class even something that is just funny <laughs> like that makes me laugh the pink is stuff other characters say uh, regarding Arabella or regarding anything that I deem important with the book regarding themes, symbolism, characteristics, anything like that. So anything that's basically pink is people's thoughts, opinions, beliefs that I find interesting or worth marking down that are not Arabella's thoughts and beliefs. If that makes any sense <laughs> the orange is the beginning of the chapter that i have to read and then the lime green is the end then i have just like post-its in here so like right here i have some post-its that i annotate and i also highlight like you can see there's yellow and pink highlights right there so that's kind of how i annotate by the way just 
I have these post-its right here that I use and I just basically code everything. So I have to read that. And then also tonight I have to read uh, 90 pages of this book, Pieces Every Step by Fitch Nathan. I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, this book is written by a Buddhist and he is from Vietnam. He's basically just talking about peace and just trying to find inner peace but also maintaining that inner peace throughout your life. So that's what he's talking about. I'm on page 21. But this is a very short book and I think I can get through this. I'm gonna finish reading this actually now so I can do that assignment. Then for the rest of the night, I will be reading the female quick soap. It's a lot to read tonight. I've been studying for my advanced grammar test for weeks, so I should be good with that. I am gonna practice more before I go to sleep. My test is at 11 tomorrow morning, and then I have my advanced, my advanced, my literature by women class at one. And in that class, so basically, when we do our readings, we have to create questions. So there's like apparently five levels or five different categories of questions. So there's like hypothetical questions, divergent questions, there's evaluating questions, there's uh, convergent questions. And all of these questions or all of these categories are a certain type of question. And we have to, con we have to conjure up two questions from the passages we are reading for each category. So I can show you guys what I'm talking about because <laughs> I'm sure none of that made sense, but we have to bring that to class. And also we have pop quizzes. So I never know when she's going to have a pop quiz. Last class on Monday, we had two presentations, myself and then another girl. You okay? Say hi, daddy, to the vlog. We're talking about school. I am just going to go and start school. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey, y'all. So it is Wednesday. I almost said August and it's October. That's embarrassing. <laughs> October the <laughs> 8th, right? Or is it the not? It Today's might be the not. not. It's the not. Y'all, I have not had a good day <laughs> at all. I actually, my day started out really good. But um came home today and there was... A dog in my driveway and I will probably cry because I want to right now so this dog I'm not sure what type of dog he was I think he might have been a long-haired terrier with Maltese mix maybe but I saw him in the road and he looked horrible like I could tell he just wasn't doing good sorry I'm eating strawberry starburst <laughs> these amazing bags that they made I'm just all pink I see this dog and like I said, he looks really beat up. He looks really bad. He's one of those dogs that when their hair grows out, that it mats. So he's one of these dogs that when their hair grows out, it mats really, really bad. And it was so long, you guys, that I knew it was painful for him because he was stepping on his fur. It was hanging down so low that it had to have been painful. And oh my God. And I couldn't see his eyes because there was hair over them. And um, when I went to go get him, he was, um, he was really scared because he was blind, obviously. And like, I, I find out later, actually, I didn't say this, that he was like really, really blind. I could see like his eyes were so cloudy like and like they were bad and really red and he had like actual shit like feces in his eyes and just green stuff coming out of him he when I picked him up like I made sure he wasn't gonna bite me he was the sweetest gentlest dog ever he was such a sweet dog but I made sure that he wasn't gonna bite me and then I picked him up and I brought him inside my house and when I picked him up he was so scared he like shit all over me because it just he was just so scared and I was just like and I don't care that he shit on me like I do not care like he was so scared and I just hated that he was so scared like he was just I don't know I just hated that he was so so hurt and abused and neglected
neglected that anybody could do that because he didn't just run away. Like, it takes a really long time for a dog to get in that bad of shape. Like, there's no way he just ran away for a few days or even a couple weeks. Like, there's just no way. So I bring him inside and I put him in my tub and I started giving him a bath and cutting his hair. And his hair was so matted that I broke a pair of scissors. Like, that's how matted his hair was. Like, when I'd cut, he just had shit embedded into his, his hair. And I just, and I shampooed him like four or five times. And he still had this really bad odor to him because I'm positive he has worms. Like, his shit smelled so bad. Like, it was so, 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 I've never in my life smelled anything like that and it was just so bad and then after I bathed him I brought him outside because we have a dog here like I can't expose my dog to any like infection or anything because I'm pretty sure he had mange um and ear mites he, the mange was only in his ears from what I saw and maybe it wasn't mange but it looked like it to me but it might have not been um but his ears were horrible. Like, I took a Q-tip and, like, went into his ears. And he was so itchy. And he just let me lay with him and pet him. Because I wanted him to know that just because somebody did not love him unconditionally, that, there, that I loved him. And I wish I could have kept him, but I just couldn't. Because I have a dog and because we don't have the money to take care of it. I'm sure he has to have surgery on his eyes. I just hate it. He was so, so sick. But he ate. His teeth were really bad too, so he couldn't eat hard food, but we have some soft food in the house. So we gave him that. He ate two cans of it. And he ran into everything. He was hard, he just couldn't see. He literally ran into everything. And he wanted me by his side all the time. And I felt bad because we had to call somebody to come get him. They're gonna wait 30 days to see if anybody claims him and then I don't know what's gonna happen. But they're gonna wait 30 days to see if anybody comes and gets him. And if he's really sick, we're gonna have to put him down because if there's not anything they can do, then there's nothing they can do. And I don't want him to suffer. I'm gonna visit him though and go see him and I'm gonna call them tomorrow because I know their names and everything and the numbers so they said they were gonna take care of him so I'm gonna go see him and everything I named him because I had to he deserved a name everybody says don't name him when you have a stray because like you'll get attached but I was already so attached to him it didn't matter so I named him Louie and once I finally cleared the fur from the bottom of him I could see that he was a boy it was just a really hard day I have a really like crazy soft spot for animals and right before I moved to Texas when I lived in Indiana there was this cat that came up to our driveway too and I fed the cat and gave him water or her it was a her we named her uh Chloe I named her Chloe I think my brother named her Stella or something um but I named her Chloe she found a forever home I'm hoping we find a forever home like, no animal ever deserves to be just thrown out like they're garbage. But this dog was so fucking sweet that I just don't understand how anybody could do that. Like, I could never do that. Ever. And if, like, people don't have the money to take care of animals and don't buy one. Like, don't do that. Like, why would you do that? I don't care what your reasons are. You never do that to an animal. And the people who do that need to rot in jail. Like, they're disgusting. Oh my god, it's just been such a bad day, you guys. But my mom is reading a really good book right now by Stephen King. This is her first book by Stephen King. And she wanted to talk to you about it. So I'm going to let her talk for a little bit and try to calm my ass down. Oh my god, I'm going to quit crying. Hey, hmm? you can talk about it now. I'm reading The Institute by Stephen King. It's really good. It's keeping me on the edge of my seat. It's very, what's the word, disturbing, <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. I'm at a very good part right now, but it's just disturbing. I've almost cried several times because it's so disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> 
I really like it. It's kept me intrigued. It's taken me two days and today to get this far. I'm almost done. I'm on page 432. Yeah, he writes really long books. Yeah, but it's so good. It's kept me intrigued the whole time. And this is your first Stephen King. This is my first Stephen King. Which is disturbing to me. <laughs> I've watched his movie. <laughs> that doesn't count. No, I've never read a Stephen King book. Stephen King but would I will be, be so reading offended. more. Don't think I'm going to read it because it doesn't interest me. No, you're just scared. She hates clowns, so. Uh, it, oddly to say, I collect clowns. I know, I've never gotten that. She's such I a don't weird ass like person. I people that are dressed up and be a well, clown I don't like or gorilla. I hate clowns. You're showing the safe. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's been very intriguing. I can't wait for Lindsay to read it. I'm excited. I have I wanna read so many kings right now. I wanna read Pet Cemetery Misery. I wanna read Christine. I wanna read it. I wanna read his son's books, uh a nose for Atu. I really wanna read that, but I'll probably read more after this, but after this one I wanna read the third one or the fourth one in the Jack the Ripper. Oh yeah, Capturing the Devil. Yeah. Captain the Devil. I never can remember the name of it. You need to read The Shining. The Shining's good. The book, or the movie, I don't like the movie that much, but the, the book is really good. Okay. And it's not all Stephen King's are good. Like, I'll say that. Not all of his books are good. And like, he's a great Christine author. Too. I want to read Salem's Lot. I want to read The Stand. Oh, my God. I want to read everything. I, I got mad at Salem's Lot and put it down because, because it, she thought it was about witches. witches. I'll pick it back up. But it's about really vampires. Well, to me, that was a very misleading title because yes. when you think Salem, you think, you think witches. witches. Yeah. yeah, I have so many books of his that I'm dying to read that I have read. I've read a, uh, a handful or so of his books, but I want to continue to read them. And I need people to tell me if they've read books about witches because... I've love. got a whole series about witches that you won't touch for some reason. I don't remember the name of it. It's here. I'll show. You. It's on the, my king shelf. I just forgot. I told every time you mention witches, I always tell you this. <laughs> I look horrible. What was that? I'm not looking. Cute. What was that face? I'm making a face at you. That was a weird ass <laughs> face. And I told her not all of his books are good. And you're, I'm talking. You're talking to a Stephen King fan who thinks that basically worships the ground he walks on. But not all of his books are good. And he is the absolute worst at endings. His endings are a monstrosity. I'm scared now. That well, there have been good. very few times where he's actually had a really good ending. They say he's gotten better in his older books. I don't, I haven't read a ton of his. I've only read Elevation, which is an old, like literally he published it last year. And it won in the horror category on Goodreads, which shows that the Goodreads awards are rigged as fuck. Because no, that was not a horror book at all. His endings are disgustingly bad sometimes and hopefully though this is a good one because he has written a couple good endings just not a lot but that's the update for now do you have anything else you want to say about no. it and i'm reading nothing except school books that I made you. we'll show them that tomorrow but that's it for now sorry i cried so much <laughs> she's cried all afternoon all afternoon i've been so sad i'm pathetic I'm sorry but i not will pathetic. i am a little pathetic I'll just update y'all later. So, bye. Bye. Hey, y'all. So, I just wanted to update y'all and end the week. Weekly vlog. Not weekly, but this week's vlog. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded very much, by the way. I've just been really busy with school. And YouTube has kind of just been put on the back burner because of that. Which I'm obviously going to put my college education and everything before youtube but i do miss y'all so much and i miss reading and i miss youtube so i do want to try to do it more but i'm gonna do my skincare routine so i thought i would show you guys what i do and talk about the dog louie that i so helplessly cried about last night give you an update on it because there is an update so first of all before i get started on my skincare i am using one brand for everything i have five steps to my skincare routine and I, all of it is the same brand. So, except with what I clean my face with, it's not. It's not sponsored, obviously. I feel like that's so obvious when I say it's not sponsored because like I don't, you know, I'm not a big YouTuber or anything. I'm not like anything. <laughs> it wouldn't make any sense that I'd have a sponsor. I just wanted to make that clear. I just really love this brand and it's 
yeah. So the brand that I'm talking about is Tatcha. I absolutely love their products. They are hella expensive. I'm not gonna lie. They are super, super expensive, but they're very good. And if there is something that I'm going to splurge on, it's gonna be my skincare because obviously my skin is something that I want to take very good care of. So I don't want, you know, I don't want it to be gross and, you know, dirty. And I would like to try to preserve my skin the best that I can. I'm just washing my hands. But yeah, I just use All Tatcha because I just love, love that brand. And I have very, very sensitive skin. So when I find a company or a brand that I can, you know, put on my skin and it not absolutely kill me, I really stick with it. So, and I love all of these products so much. I, I don't think I'm, I guess I could say the price. The brand is so expensive, but like I said, I don't splurge on hardly anything when it comes to clothes and everything. I normally shop at like TJ Maxx or like outlet malls where they're super discounted or Walmart, Target, you know, stuff like that. But when it comes to my skin, like I said, that's something that I really think that is worth spending money on is your skin. And also like complexion products. I am so, so pale that drugstore just does not work for me. Nothing matches, everything's way too dark. So I always go to high-end complexion products. But other than that, I don't really splurge on a lot of things. So this is something that I definitely really, really prioritize though. But I just wanted to make that little disclaimer. I don't want it to seem like I'm like being braggy cause I'm not. I just love watching people do their skincare and I just think it'd be fun to show you guys what I do. I think it's a little weird that all of my skincare steps come from the same brand. I don't know why I think that's weird, but I just do. But the first thing I'm gonna be using is the Tatcha Deep Cleanse Exfoliating Cleanser. So this I think was $38. So this one is actually the least expensive of all of the products. I'm going to be putting that and on my face and then uh, cleaning my face with the Duval Spin Brush. And I actually, okay, so I do not really watch Tana Mojo ever. I happened to watch one of her Get Ready With Me videos once and she had this brush and I've always wanted a spin brush, but I just haven't gotten one because the Clarisonic is kind of like, I don't know. I just always want to get it, but never do. So I just always forget. And I saw that and it was 70% off. So I got this brush for super cheap, like 20 something dollars. I waxed my eyebrows today or I went to get them waxed and they look so much better. <laughs> this does not have like a little pump, which I don't love about that actually. It just pours out. <laughs> so I just get about that much. Yeah, it's um, an exfoliator. So it has like little beads and that kind of scared me, <laughs> but um, it's actually very, very light. It doesn't hurt. It's not rough on my skin. Cause all it says on the packaging is deep cleanser. It doesn't say exfoliator. So, so I'm gonna use the Duval Spin Brush. Like I said, I got this super cheap because of Tana Mojo. Kind of irritated. Cause I didn't know all about Tanacon and stuff when I bought this. And then I was like, oh, so she's kind of scandalous. And like, I know who, I knew who Tana was. I just didn't like realize how scandalous she was. But I was like, oh, that's 70% off. Like that's awesome. But uh, yeah, so. <laughs> She's a hoe bag. <laughs> She's a hoe bag? I'm just kidding. That's offensive. <laughs> She's the girl that's younger than me, and I talk about her, and she like parties oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff, and yeah. So red. You are red, girl. I look better today than I've looked in a very long time. She's been having I'm it rough. taken a vacation from my life. Yeah, she has. <laughs> I'm just scrubbing this, and I only wash my face, uh, at night, I don't wash it twice a day. She washes it once every three months. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> I am like religious about why skincare. I just really want to have good skin. Girl, I've got good skin and I don't do all that stuff. You could have even better skin if you did this. As mama used to say, pond cold cream and one and done. <laughs> that's not my philosophy. Three generations of that. <laughs> it breaks me yeah, out it's because it's got fragrance. My cream is gone. What cream? My face cream was gone. Oh. right here. I Tripod, because I'm a white trash. You should see the setup. She I has know. Hair. 
a uh, crystal jar, two can two candles, flushable wipes, and, and wow. yeah, <laughs> white trash. I told you. So I guess that's something me and Tana Mojo are similar in. Because I went on a little binge watch when I saw this get ready with me, and then like I said, found out she was scandalous. She's kind of like a guilty pleasure because I do know who she is, and I I still watch some of her videos, just not often. But now I'm rinsing, obviously. But I love this cleanser. It's so gentle. And Mama says it smells like a spa. I've never been to a spa, so I don't know. I really need to take you to a spa. I know. It does. It smells like when you walk in. So, face is dry she now. I dog in here the other day, and it was pretty yeah, dirty. I know. Remember, I cried last night rose. and told them about yes. it. I'm about ready to tell them the story of while I do everything I else. I can throw out my rose. <laughs> Could be halfway through it, but Mama came in here and disturbed the video. <laughs> Oh my god. So done with that part. Like I said, this is such a gentle cleanser. I love, love this. And I'm just one of those people. By the way, my skin type, I don't think I said this. I have oily skin. I used to have really dry skin. And I still do in some areas. But for some reason in the past, like literally, it's been like six months, not even that. I have started to break out really or not break out just get super oily i don't know really what's happening and i would say it's because i live in texas now i used to live in indiana like for my whole life from like infancy until i was 19. i've been living in texas it'll be three years in december so i don't understand why all of a sudden it would make my skin oily I'm thinking I have Crohn's disease and I have to take Stellara injections and I'm wondering if that has somehow maybe changed my skin type a little bit. I don't know, but it's gotten oily lately. So I'm having to use different products because I used to use the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream from Moisturizer, but I can't use that anymore. That's my skin type. And like I said, it's ultra sensitive. I've always had super, super sensitive skin. This is just like so amazing. I strongly recommend it and it makes me feel so clean and it doesn't have a strong fragrance like my mom said it smells like a spa but it's not overpowering the next step i do is take my tatcha satin skin mist this can't remember how much this was i want to say like 30 oh maybe this is the cheapest product this was 48 dollars yeah and i'm just taking this and spritzing myself with it i love this stuff I love it when I use it for my makeup and everything. What's sad about it is there's not a lot of product in it. I used to use the Urban Decay Quick Fix Priming Spray, the like neon green bottle. That was four ounces of product, product, product for like $33. This is one ounce of product for like 48. So that's a little irritating, but it is amazing. So the next thing I'm gonna use is the Tatcha Violet C Brightening Serum. This is the most expensive thing in this whole thing. This is $88. Yes, $88. Dead, almost died when I saw it, but it's good stuff. It has a slight burn to it, but a good burn. I'm gonna put two pumps of this and then put it on. Like I said, it's a brightening serum. I'm gonna tell you guys all about Louie, the dog that I rescued earlier this week on Wednesday. So we had this guy come up to our door yesterday morning and ring the doorbell. But he was older, he was like 50, 60, so not old, but older. He had a rope, like a rope. Yeah, I'm opening the door to that. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> like my dad wasn't home, like no, no way we're not opening the door. Even if my dad was home, I wouldn't have opened the door. Like you don't open the door to a strange man with a rope. Now it was a leash, like it was a leash, it but it looked like, like a, a what it, it like was a rope leash. Yeah. yeah, like I've seen him at the store. And then what happened was he, we didn't answer it, so we left a note. And he was saying that that was his roommate's dog and that he was so worried about it and they've been fretting over it. And I was very hesitant. I still, I still am not happy with the situation to be completely honest. Next, I'm taking the Tatcha Water Cream Moisturizer. This was $68, like I said, very, very pricey. He comes by and he leaves that note and so then we have to tell him that we took Louie to the pound and because we could not keep him, he had like um, intestinal 
uh, issues and I cannot be around that because of my Crohn's, which made me so angry because I wanted to keep him more than life. We didn't tell him that until later this that evening because my dad ended up talking to him and I guess that they ended up going to the pound and picking Louie up. But the police officer said they had a very, very, very long chat with him because there's no, this dog was abandoned. He was neglected. There's no way he just got out and happened to be in the condition he was in. There's no way. He was so sick, you guys, and so old and so neglected. Like his eyes, there, his, I told y'all he was blind. They were so bad that it, I couldn't clean the feces out of his eyes because anytime I pushed on it, his eyeball would literally come out of his head. And I, I just couldn't do it. It would ooze. The dog is 17. And I knew he was old because of his teeth and just because of the condition he was in. But he's 17. And I guess his owner is a very old, like, like he's sick. Louis just happened to get out. And the guy doesn't have the heart to euthanize him. Which I get you have attachments to your animals. But this dog is sick, y'all. He really is. And it makes me sad. Louis was just, and his name's Joey, by the way, the dog. But I'm still gonna call him Louie. He was just, he's such a good dog and it makes me so sad. The kindest dog would not hurt a fly. But they ended up giving the dog back to this man, which like I said, I don't agree with. And there's a lot of funky holes to the story to my in my personal opinion. They said they were eternally grateful for me for taking care of him and not hurting him because that's the other reason I picked him up. I didn't want anybody to hurt him so I knew that I would never hurt him and I wanted to clean him up I wanted to feed him he was starving but he is back with his owner and the officer did say the dog was incredibly happy to see the owner I mean I guess they've been together I mean 17 years it's a long time but the guy is, is just super old and I guess that he just really doesn't want to euthanize him and I get it I mean I do but if you can't take care of him because there's no excuse for how this how Louie looked. The matted hair, the eyes, no excuse for it. There's no excuse. And if he can't give him a good quality of life, it's just, it, it irritated me beyond belief. I cannot explain how fr fucking frustrated I still am about it. It makes me happy that Louie is happy because he has this buddy back, but regardless, I'm not happy with the situation. I would do anything if I could keep the dog. Anything, but I wanted to update you guys on that. I have not cried as much today. I cried a couple times, but not nearly as much. But I wanted to update y'all on that before I ended the vlog. So, I don't know if I just showed you the eye cream that I used. I used the Tatcha Silk Peony Eye Cream. This was $68 as well. So, that's it for my skincare. That's it for the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, something else that I do. I'm going to brush my teeth and I use a bamboo toothbrush. I strongly recommend that people get these. They're super, super inexpensive. They're like $5 a box on Amazon and you get like four or five toothbrushes and they're great for the environment. We throw, you're supposed to throw away your toothbrushes like every three months and that's a lot of plastic toothbrushes that just are horrible, horrible for the environment. So to lessen my carbon footprint, I'm trying to do everything that I possibly can. I still have so much to work on. And I mean, if it, like, if you don't want to get these, you don't have to get these. Like, I'm never going to shame somebody. That's me. <laughs> if anybody shames anybody in the comments, you're getting in trouble. <laughs> no shaming people here. But that's it for the vlog. Subscribe if you want to. Like the video if you want to. And I'll just see y'all in the next one. Bye.